Okay, so now we could uh, look at the the prototypes of the the four functions that we defined here. But before we do that, I just wanted to point out a mistake that I made in a previous video. I forgot to add the element and then semicolon at the end of the definition of the structure. Um, the way it works in C is that you could simply define your structure as struct element and then open curly braces, close them, and then semicolon, and then put in whatever you want here. But then when you're going to, you, you want to declare a struct later on, you're going to have to actually put the entire string struct element and then call it whatever you want, for example node, and then do it this way. So this will always carry over wherever you go. Uh, whereas by putting type def element here, this allows us to actually declare our nodes simply by saying element node. So this, how, this is how it works in C. So this is just a side point for you to know. Um, so now that we've defined our element structure and then we have the functions here, let's go on to the prototypes of each function. So first let's look at push and pop. Um, in order to push an element, what are we going to have to give that function? What are we going to be handling within the function? There are two things we're going to be handling. First, we need a pointer to the, the stack itself. We need to know where the stack is so we could modify it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a pointer to the stack. And this will basically be a pointer to the head of the stack, ahead of, the, of our linked list. So we could have just called it head if we wanted to but it will be representative of the stack. So whenever I give you a pointer to the head of the list, whenever I give you a pointer to this particular element, then I'm essentially giving you a, a, a pointer to the entire list because you could just follow the pointers and then traverse the entire list until you reach null. So what we're going to pass this push function, first of all, is going to be a pointer to the list itself, which we call stack. and uh, the next thing we do, so it's going to be a pointer to an element, this node, that we define right up here. So this is the first thing we're going to pass it, and the next thing we're going to pass it, when we want to push, we're going to put, we're pushing in uh, data, right? We're pushing data to the, to the stack. So, of course, we're going to need a data. T so this is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to pass it a pointer to the head of the list and we're going to pass it the data that we're trying to add or push onto the list and the function will what it what is it going to do is and we're going to implement that later is it's going to take the stack move it to a new element so we're going to create a new element and then we're going to put this data that is passed to us in here and then we're going to add a pointer to this first element before and this will become our first element then this stack we're going to update its position to here so this is essentially what this function will do and in addition to that what we're going to add is just a an error code so this function will just return an error code at the end whenever it uh, if for example it fails while, while allocating memory it will indicate that by for example returning a one saying that it didn't work so the person who's going to uh, call push is going to detect this one and is going to act accordingly. The next function is pop, and pop basically acts in the same manner except we don't need the data, right? There is no need for this data. We're not adding data, we're just retrieving data. So what we're going to do is we're going to do element stack. It still needs to operate on the stack because it's going to pull out the first element of the stack and update its position. and uh, we're going to return the data itself. So we could return int, which is going to be our data. Now we're going to see that this poses some problems. There are two issues that come up right now. The first issue is the stack itself. If we're just going to pass a pointer, the pointer, to the first element, then we won't be able to update the pointer itself. Because see, the way it works when it passes values to function, it does so, it copies the value and it gives you a copy. So even if you try to update this pointer and move it to this element, for example, when you push, move it here, it's just going to update the copy and not the, 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 the pointer itself at the beginning that you passed. So this is a problem, and here too. The next problem that we deal with is for the pop function. It needs to return two things, the data itself and the error code. 